Save today, save safely, save wisely, money tomorrow and a better living. Save today, save safely, save wisely, money tomorrow and a better living. Many people get difficulties in saving money, that's why they keep it under money. Uganda is well on its way to creating a vibrant financial services sector. It has some two dozen banks and nearly a thousand smaller microfinance and member-owned savings and credit institutions spread across the country. But many Ugandans still do not have meaningful access to basic financial services. This is especially true for poor people in rural areas where most of Uganda's population lives. Many rural Ugandans live far from the nearest financial institution. Many also do not know how using financial services can help them improve their lives. They keep their money in mattresses, afraid to leave it in the hands of others. So, Uganda has also one of the world's lowest savings rates. This is a major barrier to increasing wealth and reducing poverty. Savings provide the lowest cost source of cash for poor people to achieve their long-term goals. Using savings is also cheaper than borrowing to cover family emergencies and unexpected income shortfalls. In order to expand the rural access to financial services and cultivate a sustainable savings culture among Ugandans, the U.S. Agency for International Development hired Chemonix International to implement the Rural Speed Program in Uganda. Rural Speed stands for Rural Savings Promotion and Enhancement of Enterprise Development. And all the evidence indicates that poor people can save. The questions we continue to get that poor people cannot save are not true. All over the world, it is proven that poor people can save. The Rural Speed Program works to deepen and strengthen the financial sector to meet the needs of rural Ugandans. One of its major goals is to increase the number of people saving their money in recognized financial institutions. We have seen a lot of interest in demystifying the myth about savings. Savings and the using of financial institutions is not an elitist. It's not, an, it's not for the elite. We have seen a lot of interest. If you look around, you see a lot of institutions are now beginning to uh, provide information about the savings and um, the benefits of savings to communities. A rural speed study on the savings habits and needs of rural Ugandans found that four out of five people tried to save, but nearly half of those did not use the services of organized financial institutions. In response to this study, Rural Speed developed an innovative national public awareness campaign with the rural poor as its target audience. The multimedia campaign used a mix of radio, outdoor advertising, live entertainment, and branded giveaway items to encourage people to save in financial institutions. The main theme of the public awareness campaign was Save Today, Better Tomorrow, Why Saving, Better Living. Save today for a better tomorrow, why saving, better living. This tagline and a colorful logo were chosen after field testing in rural focus groups. The campaign was conducted in two phases. Both phases were done in collaboration with the government's Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development. Rural Speed's partner financial institutions also participated in the campaign by setting up tents to market their services at all the live events. The first part of the campaign ran for three months in 2006 in eastern, western and central Uganda. 
41 branches of financial institutions participated. They increased the number of savers by an average of 22% as a result. Based on the success of Phase 1, Rural Speed undertook an expanded nationwide campaign that ran from March to June 2007. The second phase expanded the coverage to Northern Uganda, a conflict zone that is slowly coming out of 20 years of civil war. The savings study had found that the North has more active savers than any other region in Uganda, although few utilized financial institutions. During these shows, we have registered bigger numbers of financial institutions, and the turn-ups on the different occasions has been higher than that of last year. And uh, this time, many accounts have been opened by the public to different financial institutions in different areas.